Right now, as you watch this video, a small rock is traveling through space exactly in sync with Earth. It's been doing this for 60 years. You've never seen it. Most people don't even know it exists. But it's out there, keeping perfect pace with our planet as we both circle the sun together. And astronomers just found it. In 2024, Earth briefly captured a mini-moon that orbited for two months before returning to its solar path. Everyone was talking about it. News outlets covered it. Space enthusiasts tracked it. But while that mini-moon was getting all the attention, something far more permanent was hiding in plain sight. Something that's been with us since 1965. This is 2025 PN7, and today we're going to explore why this tiny cosmic companion matters more than you might think. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we explore the most fascinating cosmic mysteries and space discoveries. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Also, if this video teaches you something new about our solar system, smash that like button. It helps more people discover content like this. Now, let's dive into the strange world of quasi-moons and understand why astronomers are so excited about these invisible followers. In 2024, astronomers observed something extraordinary. For two brief months, Earth gained a temporary companion. This small asteroid, likely just a few meters across, was captured by Earth's gravitational influence and began orbiting our planet directly. For 60 days, we had a second moon. It was faint, barely visible even to powerful telescopes, but it was there. Then, just as quickly as it arrived, it broke free from Earth's gravity and continued on its path around the Sunday. These temporary captures happen more often than you might think. NASA estimates we capture small objects like this every few decades, but they rarely last more than a few months. This event sparked renewed interest in near-Earth, objects, and the various ways celestial bodies can interact with our planet. But while the mini-moon was making headlines, astronomers were studying something far more permanent, far more mysterious, and far more significant. They were tracking quasi-moons. So what exactly is a quasi-moon? Let me break this down because it's genuinely fascinating. Unlike our traditional moon, which directly orbits Earth, a quasi-moon doesn't orbit our planet at all. Instead, it orbits the Sun in almost the exact same time it takes Earth to complete one orbit, roughly 365 days. The key word here is almost. These objects maintain what scientists call a synchronized dance with Earth. Imagine two runners on a track running at nearly identical speeds, staying side by side lap after lap. That's what's happening here, but on a cosmic scale, with gravity as the invisible force keeping them in sync. Quasi-moons are classified as co-orbitals, objects that share similar orbital characteristics with a planet. They're locked in what astronomers call a one-to-one -one orbital resonance with Earth. Their orbits are slightly elliptical and tilted compared to Earth's, which creates this beautiful, complex pattern when viewed from our planet. From our perspective, they appear to loop around us. But in reality, they're looping around the Sun while keeping pace with Earth. Here's what makes them so challenging to study. Quasi-moons are typically tiny. We're talking about objects ranging from just a few meters to maybe a few hundred meters across. They're also incredibly dim because they're so small and far away. You can't see them with the naked eye, and even spotting them with telescopes requires knowing exactly where to look. But when astronomers do find them, these objects tell us extraordinary stories about the dynamics of our solar system, the chaotic interactions between gravity and momentum, and the hidden architecture of space around Earth. Let's start with the veteran, 2016 HO3, discovered. In April 2016, by the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii, this quasi-moon is Earth's most stable companion and has been following us for nearly a century. HO3 
is estimated to be between 40 and 100 meters in diameter, roughly the size of a large building. What makes it remarkable isn't just its size, but its stability. Scientists have traced its orbit backward and forward in time, and the results are stunning. This object has likely been Earth's quasi-satellite for about a hundred years and will continue to be for several centuries more. Its orbit around the Sun is tilted about 8 degrees relative to Earth's orbital plane, and it never ventures closer than about 38 times the distance to our Moon, or farther than about 100 times that distance. This stability makes it incredibly valuable for study. In fact, 2016, HO3 has become such an object of interest that China's space agency selected it as the target for a sample return mission. The Tianwen-2 mission, planned for the late 2022s, aims to visit HO3, collect samples from its surface, and return them to Earth for analysis. Why? Because these quasi-moons might be remnants of ancient celestial events. They could be fragments from asteroid collisions, pieces broken off from larger bodies, or pristine samples of material that has remained relatively unchanged for billions of years. Studying their composition could tell us about the early solar system, the formation of planets, and the violent history of our cosmic neighborhood. But HO3 isn't alone. Meet the newcomer, 2025 PN7. Discovered recently, through advanced sky survey programs, 2025 PN7 has been hiding in plain sight for 60 years. Let that sink in. This object has been accompanying Earth through space since the 1,960 seconds through the entire space age, and we only just found it. While we don't yet know its exact size, early estimates suggest it's smaller than HO3, possibly in the 10 to 50 meter range. What we do know is that its orbital dynamics indicate it will remain in quasi-satellite configuration with Earth for at least another 68 years, taking us well into the next century. Think about that timeline. This object was already following Earth when humans first went to space. It was there during the Apollo moon landings, during the space shuttle era, during the construction of the International Space Station. It's been silently keeping pace with us through every major milestone of human space exploration, completely unnoticed. The discovery of 2025 PN7 highlights how much we still don't know about what's happening in our immediate cosmic vicinity. Despite decades of sky surveys and increasingly sophisticated detection systems, objects like this can still evade detection because of their small size and faint appearance. But here's what's exciting. Now that we know it's there, we can study it. We can track its orbit precisely, analyze any light reflecting off its surface to determine composition, and add it to the growing catalog of near earth objects that might one day become targets for space missions. Which brings us to an important question. Why do these quasi-moons matter? Why should we care about tiny rocks following Earth around the Sun? Quasi-moons might not have the gravitational influence of our regular moon. They're far too small and distant to affect Earth's tides or stabilize our axial tilt. But their scientific value is immense and their potential for future space exploration might be even greater. First, understanding gravitational dynamics. These objects exist in what scientists call a dynamically complex region. The space around Earth is influenced by our planet's gravity, the Sun's much stronger gravity, and even subtle pulls from other planets. Quasi-moons navigate this gravitational maze while maintaining long-term stability. By studying them, we learn about orbital mechanics, resonance patterns, and the three-body problem. One of the most challenging questions in physics. Second, remnants of cosmic history. Every quasi-moon has a story. Where did it come from? Is it a captured asteroid from the main belt? A fragment from an ancient collision? A piece of debris from the moon's formation? By analyzing their composition, Either through remote observation or future sample return missions, we can piece together events that happened millions 
or even billions of years ago. Third, practice targets for space missions. Here is where it gets really practical. Quasi-moons are relatively easy to reach compared to other asteroids. They require less fuel to get to because they're already near Earth's orbit. They move predictably, making them ideal targets for testing new spacecraft systems, mining technologies, or even establishing waypoints for deeper space exploration. China's Tianwen, two mission to 2016, HO3 is just the beginning. As space agencies and private companies look toward asteroid mining and resource utilization, quasi-moons represent some of the most accessible bodies in the solar system. Fourth, planetary defense. Understanding the population and behavior of objects in Earth's vicinity is crucial for planetary defense. While quasi-moons are in stable orbits now, gravitational perturbations could potentially change that over long timescales. The more we know about these objects, their orbits, their physical properties, their numbers, the better we can predict and prepare for any future threats. So let's zoom out for a moment and appreciate what we've learned. Earth isn't traveling through space alone. Beyond our familiar moon, we're accompanied by an entourage of smaller objects, temporary mini-moons that visit briefly, stable quasi-satellites like 2016 HO, 3 and 2025, PN7 that stay for decades or centuries, and countless other near-Earth objects we haven't even discovered yet. The 2024 mini-moon event reminded us that our planet regularly interacts with passing space debris. But the discovery and study of quasi-moons reveals something deeper. The solar system is far more interconnected and dynamic than we often realize. These objects don't orbit Earth, but they share our journey. They've been witnesses to our entire history as a spacefaring species, and they'll continue alongside us into the future. They represent accessible laboratories for studying asteroid composition, testing grounds for new space technologies, and potential resources for future space economies. And perhaps most importantly, they remind us how much there is still to discover, even in our own backyard. Right now, as you watch this video, 2025 PN7 is out there, silently keeping pace with Earth as it has for six decades. 2016 HO3 continues its stable dance through space. And somewhere in the darkness, there are likely other quasi-moons waiting to be discovered. Companions we don't yet know about. The universe is full of hidden wonders, and quasi-moons are a perfect example. They challenge our assumptions about what orbits what. They expand our understanding of gravitational dynamics, and they open new possibilities for space exploration. What do you think? Should we be sending more missions to these quasi-moons? Could they be humanity's first step toward utilizing space resources? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one and I love discussing these topics with you. If you enjoyed diving into this cosmic mystery, you'll definitely want to check out our other videos exploring the weird physics of near-Earth objects. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating space content. Hit that like button if you learned something new and share this video with anyone who loves astronomy and space exploration. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, every time you look up at the night sky, Earth's secret companions are out there, invisible but present, following us on our journey around the Sunday. I'll see you in the next one. Keep looking up.